those two were sparring. Oh, well. A little slow this morning. I've been up. I just haven't done any video yet. Ty's here. Blakely's here. Becky already fed ice, man. She has been a good mama. Like she was last year. She was actually one of the best two-year-old mamas last year. And she came up and said hi to me earlier when I was checking everybody. And she's thinking about sniffing me now, but not sure. She had a hard day yesterday, but... And that little bugger watching her in the camera last night. I really should have took a little video off the monitor for you. She was bebopping and running around, having a good old time. She's actually probably more lively than the two at the other end of the barn that are, you know, half a day and a full day older than her. But you get to see her laying here relaxing. And she cleaned. Well, at least I'm pretty sure she didn't get all of it. She cleaned most of it, which is a good thing. And... She just walked in. That's the one that was in this pen with a little fun looking calf. Who is? Come on, come on, come on. Right there. It was funny. She was right there by the water trough yesterday. And the float on that trough sprays out a little when it starts getting full. And she was in the spray pattern. She didn't know what to think of it. I got these two. I just said good morning, cowboy, and he walked up. And Sapphire was already up here, so. We know Sapphire will get me. Cowboy just hasn't been sure since he's been in here. But he thinks he's got a girlfriend. At least he's trying to whisper sweet nothings to her. Well, he's going to get too close, and I'm going to reach out and touch him. Oh, he's going to hold still for me today. Huh? Yeah, careful. You slip and do the splits and crack your nards. Excuse me. That's my hand. Okay, you ready for some breakfast? Oh, everybody's going to come up here now. Are we ready for breakfast? Yeah. 325, a.k.a. 241. And somebody sniffing my toes. We're gonna see how my how my new toes work. I may as well show you. They came yesterday. They are Carhartt boots. Not real sure about them yet. I mean, the Dewalts have been pretty good. The last pair I didn't get as long out of this is the first pair. And Becky came across these. Try to show you without getting the camera to flip. Got a pry notch on there so you don't tear the heel off. Actually, real live old fashioned laces. They're just, they're all right so far. I'm just not sure about them. Well, I still have the others. Eventually, I'll figure it out. And I think, by golly, it is. It's a tie. She's down there feeding while I'm over here feeding. I'm glad she's down here to help. Because after yesterday, yeah, getting in a position to get that calf's head up, my back and my right shoulder are both dead. Okay, time to feed. Mama called. Mama called, so she came in, we're right on past her. Right to, the, right to the feeder. Mom, I'm over here. Don't worry about it. Oh, wait. That's not my mom. Oh, hey, I want to play with you. Ty's little dear girl there's the instigator. I totally didn't. Need, I didn't have a chance to get my phone out. Her and the other heifer there. They were they were like two kids oh. on a playground skipping around. Girl, you're lucky that wasn't your Right mom. through the humpy bumps and out. And it's like, God, I couldn't even get my phone out quick enough. Yeah. Yeah, you're damn lucky that wasn't your mama you kicked, because I know she would have cleaned your clock. And we were just looking at calves here this morning. This is the one over here that you were talking about, isn't it? Yeah. 
He is skinny, skinny this morning, and we're looking. Well, Mom's got milk. So I'm not well, sure why he's. he's he could just but it. He maybe growing. maybe he's at the point where he's going through a growth spurt, and he hadn't ate this morning. That's what I don't know. Like but it looks like he already got two or two. Yeah, but there's milk in there. There's milk in it. It just isn't full right now. But let's see if he's growing. God, she's a milking. And Becky asking me if everything's okay, so I was able to do one of those text back. Now she's calling. Well, there's a few that are, are true union cows, but I stalled and talked too long. I told Ty so I could get over here and do this, and then look up and. I think there's a half a dozen that ran in there. And as soon as they knew we were watching, they ran faster. So they're clear to the other end. And see, here we come back out. Feeling our Wheaties. They, they actually uh, ran in faster than that after they noticed that we saw them. Oh, and a baby too. Zoom, 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 zoom. Anchor the brakes. Okay, Mom, I'm right here. <laughs> hey, you got something wrapped around your leg or following you. No, it's not. Oh, some, some hay. That's what it was. Caught on her heel. Hey, anyway, finish feeding. Let's see if I can get anything else done today. Warm head. Somebody sneaking around. She was a sick little girl when she got here. I think she had too many snotties. She's been sitting on my lap, stealing my hat and playing. Like, and until she threw my hat on the floor here. and she's like, I get it. So I set her down and she walked right past it and went over there. But there we go. Come here. She needs a nap too. She apparently didn't even nap this morning yet. Yeah, fell, fell asleep like four miles before she got here. here. That, that doesn't make much of a nap. So anyway, there you get to see her in her fancy outfit with all the bows all over it. Huh. Say, hey, girl, hey. Hey, girl, hey. Hey, girl, hey. Hey, drooler girl, there we go. There's a smile. You're going to have to stand up. We're pooped again. Uh oh. She reeks. Uh oh. I literally just. It's not poopies. One thing Massey kind of made a mistake on is the way the clutch no brakes work on this. They're both hydraulic, but they're both left over after transmission lubrication. There's nothing at either one. It's a positional thing, and it may take five or ten minutes before it's up. There's supposed to be a hose. The hose to it's supposed to make a loop up over that. And then it's supposed to be a clear hose, and then you can see it. And if there's any oil there, you have that. Otherwise, you don't. <sighs> yeah. And neutral or the safety switch is still there, but... We don't have much enough to go clicky clicky. So, time to get the service truck. She's taking a little bit. Finally got bolted up enough to try it, but yeah. Give her a little more time. I don't know how big the alternator is on that truck, but I know what the batteries are. There's three. Oh, they're, what, 1150 amp yellow top starting slash marine or deep cycle, whatever you want to say. Batteries in it. The tractor has, I probably still has Optimas in it. Either way, they're an AGM battery. Two of them that are 8 to 900 amp. But it takes a bit to get them up. It's been, I don't know, 20 minutes to a half an hour since I first hooked it up. 
So, yeah, sit around and watch it and wait. Well, I tried it again. It got to spin a little bit to get fuel up, and it just hasn't done it yet. It's spinning better, but not good enough. So I thought, oh, I'll try the International. That's actually got a battery disconnect on it. It was disconnected. It also has AGM batteries in it. And, uh, yeah, it's just as dead. Go figure. Yeah, well, I just put a charger on that. Hooked her to the starter, back feed to the batteries. <clears throat> put it on 10 amp. It's only 2.5 amps per battery. So it can sit there for a day or two. See if the damn thing will charge enough to go. But I was noticing these streaks across the sky. Um, there wasn't a cloud in the sky earlier. And if you notice, those clouds are kind of straight lines. And literally go as far as you can see. Yeah, this is only Wednesday. They usually do all that on Thursdays. Hmm. There wasn't any of those at all yesterday. Wasn't any at all Monday. And Monday's the day that uh, you know, Intel has all their jets going back and forth between Hillsboro, Oregon, and Los Angeles, California. Hmm. So, kind of interesting, ain't it? Anyway, Ty's taking a pressure washer to the inside of that tank now after it was soaking because it's still full of algae and crap. Fun part of having a clear tank for one, and or translucent tank. And uh, fun part of being where it likes to grow and everything. Yeah, it's cleaned up, pretty much ready to go. Haven't fired the engine up yet. It ran last fall. I filled it clear full of gas in case we needed it for a fire that was pretty close. That boom was actually on a 14 foot John Deere 210 disc many, many years ago. We used it for doing Eptem. And the mounting is narrow on it because that's kind of where you had to mount on that disc. And we put the brackets on the back of the fire trailer god 25 years ago i suppose anyway it flows water all the nozzles work i haven't even pulled one out to see how much crap was in there i mean it should have been clean when it was put away uh the one there kind of in between the tail lights on the trailer the keeper the cam lock the yellow piece is broke so i almost got a bath from that but the nozzle was working fine I got spares. That's no big deal. I just got to find where they are because, you know, some of the stuff's upstairs in the shop for spare parts. Some of the stuff's, I think, still downstairs to go on the new sprayer. And some of the stuff's inside. I have no idea. I didn't you know. I haven't looked at the nozzles on this. I have no idea what size they are. We run 8002s on the big sprayer, which was the speeds we used to run it six miles an hour that gives us 10 gallons to the acre and at uh, 12 miles an hour five gallons to the acre the only time we'd do six miles an hour if it was a rough pasture and we have somewhere a set of what's in there is the plastic with the stainless inserts but we have a set of stainless ones from before we made a bigger boom for a 42 foot boom instead of a 62 foot boom that would put 10 gallons out per acre at six miles an hour. So I'm gonna see if I can find those. I know we wouldn't have got rid of them. If we did, I'm gonna kick Ty's ass. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, they're not cheap and we actually, it was a promotional deal when we got them Hey, you know, if you buy so many gallons of uh, liquid fertilizer, we'll give you a set of nozzles for your sprayer. And we did. It's the only year we ever used liquid fertilizer because we spent the next five years trying to keep the old sprayer from falling apart after doing that. Because that stuff, you know, gets on everything that's done. I'm hoping 
this C90 isn't an issue with that, but if it is, it's on here. You know, I mean, I can change that back piece on the trailer if I have to. I don't want to. I can extend that boom out farther if it's going to be an issue. But that'll cover right at 12 feet, just barely. 12 feet's better than nothing. And we have a little sprayer on wheels. It's the same thing that's on the back of the 135 with the yellow tank, like 35 gallon. It has a nozzle on the back that sprays out 15 or 20 feet wide, but I don't know the gallon, of course. So we may try to use that where I can't really get into with this or where I don't want to get into with this. We will see. But I got it that far and I was kind of concerned about uh, a strainer because, you know, there's still going to be shit coming out of that tank. There's still got to be stuff in the hoses. And I was going to pull that one off of there and adapt back into it, but I don't need to because that one was on the end of that yellow hose. I just took it off because, you know, there's nothing in that hose to plug the screens up. And I just wanted to make sure it was going to work. So it is flushed out. It is ready to go. Other than figuring what speed I need to move. And I'm going to have to put some air in those tires, I'm sure. Although we might have done that last fall when it was sitting here full and they were squatted. I don't know. Those are 10 ply 750-16s, so not like they can't handle the weight. And I don't know what the hell it's going to do. I think it might rain tomorrow. If so, I mean, at least that'll give me a chance to dink around with this. And somewhere from way, way back when, successful farming was given them out for people to calibrate their sprayers way back when. The plastic jar with calibration lines on it, so you know how much is in it. Tells you how much you're putting out per minute, so you can figure out how much you're putting out in a distance. Got a little hook thingy on it. It just hangs on the boom, and the nozzle squirts right into it. We used to have two. And I know we found them in the basement, and one of them was broke. And I hoped I didn't toss the other one. So anyway, that's my story for the day. No new calves yet. We'll see what tomorrow brings. So, hope you all had a great hump day. Hope everybody has a great Thursday. Thank you all for watching.